Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to the Shrouded Isle. A cultist simulator kind of thing, maybe? And uh, we have to find the perverse one to sacrifice at the end of this season and encourage some penitence in our lovely secluded little community. And Let's go. I changed the color scheme to Poison Ivy for the summer season. I think I'm going to change it for every season. At least for a while. <gasps> Alright. Penitence. Jefferson's. Don't believe Blackborn lies. They are loyal to themselves. Okay. We want who is the perverse one. Hemophiliac, obsessed, blushes easily. Could it be you? Okay. Who would you like to know about? I want to know about you. I want to know about your virtue. You're very penitent. I have much to repent. Okay. I have another one. How about your... Pervert. It does no harm to the squids. Alright. Thank you. You will be appointed advisor. I will forever seek forgiveness, Your Excellency. What does pervert do? I don't know. But, okay. You? You are for House Everson. Good. Blackborn, always more work to be done. Svante, I want to know more about you, my friend. Your virtue is disciplined, okay. Rumor to affect discipline, fully. Okay. Nah. Eden, you know too much, full of forever. I want penitence and ignorance to, to grow, so... It has been some years since the last incident. Now let's 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 look at you a little bit. Self-loathing. Don't waste your time on me, okay? You look like a good, good, good advisor here. Cadwells. Wait. No need to confine anybody yet, okay? Okay. Begin inquiry about Radia. Rada. About your virtue, your obedient. What would you have me do? Mm -hmm. Obedient, obedient, full of forever. Disciplined, unrepentant, full of forever, penitent. Who do we disgrace? Okay, um, let's appoint you. Yeah, let's appoint you as the advisor. I need... I need more ignorance. Oh, you're ignorant. Good. Let's inquire... Oh, I don't know anything about Carol... or Andre. Inquire about virtue, full of forever. Praise Chernobyl. Hurrah, hurrah. No, I'm gonna appoint you as the advisor here, okay, and Cagney, you, you are dead, unfortunately. Mila has to, okay, and inquire, Bogdan, tell me you're, okay, you're undisciplined, okay. But you are ignorant, so we will put you in charge of that and begin the season. Um, let's burn some books and let's spank the sinners and investigate. Discipline goes down. Ignorance plus something. No, I can't. Let's let's go with this one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Burning books. Average outcome uh, source the tunnel. Found one old world book to burn. 
leads the village in memorizing scripture passages, ignorance plus something, arrives late to every advisor meeting, mumbling an apology, discipline minus something. Okay. Let's... Oh, you're a flirt. Minor advice. Okay. We can... we can... deal with that. Flagellate sinner. So oh, that... There's something very graphic about that animation there. Average outcome. Ladislas dutifully whipped the sinners. Praise the Chernobog. Penitence plus six. Personally encourages more confessions to come forward. Penitence plus something. Ladislas vice. Rumors about Ladislas strange desires cannot be true, yet they are all the town can talk about. Discipline minus fifteen. Begin inquiry. Okay, so I can't inquire about about his uh, advice anymore. Guess. Ah, convict. I have plenty of to atone for. Minor virtue, but pervert is a major vice. Okay, thank you. Next result. Ah, uh, Yosef. Gods are. They they do not like me. Well, it's okay. It's okay. I already know you will be the one to sacrifice this month, so... Now we shall. Yes, we'll burn the books. Yes, you will work. Generous, I know. I'm running out of discipline here. Okay, you too. Katarina urged the laborers in carving and sanding, and a small shrine to our god was crafted. Leads the villagers in memorizing scripture passages, ignorance plus something. Somehow doesn't find time to go in confession, penitence minus ten. Oh, you're a weasel. Oh, yeah. It's minor advice. Okay. Uneducated. That's good. Weird saying that. Whoosh! Chernobog will guide Ladislas. Penitence plus six. Ladislas tells stories of redemption after a life of misguided crimes. Rumor about... yeah. Can't be true. Next. Okay, that looks good. Finish. And the last one. Idiots is down. Okay, you. Do whatever you have to. Yeah, discipline goes down anyway, so this is this is how we do this. Burning books went reasonably well. Bogdan leads the villages to memorizing scriptures and is rumored to have taken on yet another lover. Okay, let's inquire about your vice, your doll. Okay, minor. Minor thing there. Confiscate goods. Average. Mirsha seized forbidden desserts and fine cloth, ensuring steadfast focus on prayer. Discipline plus three. Misha is rumored to be ignorant. Leads to villages memorizing script passages, blah. Revises the code of laws with a new, more confusing interpretation. Obedience minus something. Begin inquiry. Okay, about your... Okay, your doll, then. Okay. Well, oh, that's cool. Lovely. Next. Investigate heresy. <gasps> Average outcome. Interrogated townspeople. Seems few parents conspire to hide children from the ritual. Mm -hmm. Often found weeping and gnashing teeth for no known sin. And Fania ignores rationing rules, taking pity on the hungry. Discipline minus six. Can I inquire about you? No, I can't. Okay. Next result. Uh huh. Inquisitor Blackborn is just loving me. Seasons and draws near. A sacrifice must be made to protect the villagers. 
gathering convenes who will be the sacrifice of this season. It will be the pervert. May be disturbed by Ladislaus' death and lose penitence. Villagers will be inspired to create a discipline through the purging of this sinner. House Efferson will grudgingly submit to my decision. There we go. Burn the heretics. Trush. Through sacrifice thy will be done. We sacrifice the life of Ladislas in the name of Chernobog and the good of our people. Our condolences to House Efferson. Just sacrifice. House Efferson solemnly mourns Ladislas. House Efferson approval minus 30. Other houses approval plus 5. Villagers praise Chernobog for ridding their community of a blighted soul. Discipline plus 15. Penitence minus 10. Villagers has repeatedly failed to demonstrate penitence. The end is nigh. Ooh. The village rejects penitence. Your dreams howl unendingly for blood until you give your own upon the altar. What? Shit! <laughs> Season survived. Zero years. Two seasons. Villagers sacrifice two. Major sinners one. House with moat sacrifices Efferson. Trace discovered eleven. Villages awoken zero and endings unlocked zero. Well, fuck. Okay. <laughs> well, now that I know what I'm doing. Let's try that again. Earth is dark and inviting. Okay, a letter. Is this the same from Ludmila Yosefka? Oh, it's not the same. A divided heart. Ludmila Yosefka arrives, concerned. She confesses deep love for two people and must choose one to marry before Chernobog awakens. One makes her happy, the other inspires her to be a better person. Happiness is fleeting. Virtual is eternal. If it's not clear to your heart, perhaps neither is right. Oh. Ask the elders of House Yosefka. It's not my affair. House Yosefka will like this. This will encourage discipline. You are a bit of an undisciplined person. This has unknown effects. Ooh. Ask the elders, okay? I don't really care. Ludmilla groans and drudges away, but House Yosefka is pleased with your sign of respect. Okay, continue. Now, select seasonal advisors again. You are responsible for ignorance. So I need to kind of get these... Zoya, spoiled brat who always beg for sweets. Full of forever, almost never silent. She's mumbling prayers or litany of some kind. Valen has many small cuts and scars on his arms and legs. Dushka has a very well-behaved little girl. Maria, Maria is a good mediator when arguments become too heated. Yaromir blushes easily. Oh, these are randomized. These are not the same same things as as in the previous playthrough. Ooh, nice touch. Hidi is one of the village's only silver glass mirrors. And Misha was a talented doodler, but you know too much. Okay, begin inquiry. Zoya, tell me about your virtue. You are penitent. You have much to repent. Uh huh. And Dushka, what's your virtue? Obedient. Okay, I respect your authority. That's nice. Well, let's appoint uh, Maria. You might be a good one for an advisor. Yes. Yosefka. In charge of a forever. Vasilisa is a very neat and organized person with a never hair out of place. Bogdan sometimes observes about certain passages. Svetlana has a soft and soothing voice like a dove. Ludmila always blushes when talking about sin. Eva fell from cliffs as a child and has suffered some brain damage. Yotr is fit as a fiddle. Okay, let's inquire about Vasilisa. Vasilisa. 
the virtue, discipline. I just have high standards. Bogdan, you will be our advisor. Not enough folks really commit to the cause if you ask me. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, you will be the advisor for this season. Effersons. We don't know anything about you. Ladislas once disregarded, disagreed with me in public. Susan is a very, was a very talkative child. I enjoy talking with Aaron. He makes me feel at ease. And Kashmira asks very good questions. Let's inquire about you guys. Disobedient. Don't mean to be disrespectful. And Susan... You're full of forever, okay? Huzzah, huzzah, huzzah. None of you look too... I don't know. Penitent. So I will appoint... Aaron. Yes. Aaron, you. Blackthorn. Andre lost his tongue. Fania has distinctive horse-like laugh and finds most things funny. Ivan always looks a bit suspicious and guilty to me, but I'm not sure why. Milos has tried to commit suicide in the past, but it's been some years since the last incident. Neda is a gifted healer and maker of medicines. Okay, let's inquire about Ivan. You're ignorant. Good. And, and also Neda. What's your vice? Lacking forever. Obedience. You're not very obedient bunch, are you now? Funny. Yeah. And Cudwell. Discipline. As a child, Danek once tricked his sister into taking his lashes for him. Nadig. Nadegesh? Nadegi? Nadege? Nadege? Is a hemophiliac. So you're both unrepentant then. Nadia practices martial arts on the cliff tops. Tyranny has a well trained pet Labrador. Preben was a very bright child, learned to read at an early age. Edin has the worst memory, sometimes I think he could forget his own name. And Hannah is very forgiving, even those who wrongly who deeply wronged her. So you are unrepentant, probably. You are disciplined, so okay, I have two inquiries, so I think I'm gonna inquire your advice. You are unrepentant. I have my pride, okay. And let's inquire about your virtue. You are very disciplined. I'm not perfect yet, but I try, okay. Wonder what that that portrait frame there is for. Okay. And let's appoint obedience. I want obedience. Yes. You. Okay, begin season. And we will Spank the sinners. We will investigate heresy. Should we burn some books? Mm. Yeah, this looks good. This looks good. I want to get those... These things here... As high as possible. Okay, begin month. Great outcome! Aaron whipped the sinful with purifying joy until their tears and blood soaked the earth. Penitence plus seven. Aaron's virtue is rumored to be obedient. Aaron follows your every suggestion. Obedience plus something. And Aaron's vice arrives late to every advisor meeting, mumbling an apology. Discipline must minus something. Okay, let's inquire about your virtue. Unquestioning. Okay, good. That will save you, my friend. That will save you at the next one. Great outcome. Investigating heresy. Fania extracted an anonymous confession from a heretic, removing their tongue as penance. Obedience plus seven. Fania leads the village in memorizing scripture passages. Ignorance plus something. And vice rumor. 
Fania is rumored to be disobedient. Fania re revises the code of laws with a new, more confusion interpretation. Obedience minus something. Well, that does not do. Okay, let's see. What? Impulsive. Okay, minor vice. Nah, that's not too bad. Next. And house leaders are mostly satisfied. Okay, that's good. That's good. Dark materials. Ladislas Efferson. Ladislas arrives on behalf of House Efferson, asking for additional funding for repairing their whips. There are many penitents that need punishment, but where should the money come from? The Cadwell budget for gold ink. House Cadwell will not like this. Kegney budget for cabbage. And House Efferson must found their own repairs. Mm. Okay, I don't remember the... I think... Cadwell most was... Yeah, Cagney budget for cabbage. Yeah! Cagney approval minus 10, has Efferson approval plus 10, and the penitence goes up. Yeah, continue. There we go. Next month. Okay, we need more discipline. We need more discipline. Yes, confiscate goods. Okay, yeah, everything's going up. What about you? And forever is going up. Okay, yeah, there we go. This looks good. Begin. Okay, average outcoming burning books. Ignorance plus three. Virtue rumor is rumored to be disciplined. Works extra hard, skipping many meals and evening leisures, discipline plus something. You notice Maria's ceremonies aren't as well attended as others. Forever minus something. Okay, what is your virtue? Stoic. Okay, minor virtue. Torture me if you must. Your Excellency, it is your right. Okay, that's cool. Lovely. Building a monument, great outcome. Bokren booked and forced the laborers to toil day and night, crafting fine monument worthy of our god. Forever plus five. Bogdan spends extra time at the monument construction site, and Bogdan is rumored to be disobedient. Revises the code of law with new, more confusing interpretations. Okay, cynical. Minor advice. Okay. Hmm. Next, confiscate goods. Poor outcome. Tierney claims the citizens have very few luxuries remaining and returned empty-handed. Discipline minus one. Hmm. Follows your every suggestion. Obedience plus something. Tierney's behavior had an unknown impact on our community. Okay. Let's inquire. You know too much. Do I ask too many questions? Yes, you do. Your timid plus five. Okay, that's cool. Next, so Everson of Black. Yeah, neutral, neutral, neutral. Everything is good. Everything is good. Everything is still on plus. So we're doing great. Technological advances, Kashmira Everson. Kashmira has been waiting to see you. It seems with a few adjustments, House Efferson's whips could be modified with glass and metal to cause more pain in less time. Will you fund the experimentation? Science is sometimes worthy cause, ignorance will suffer, but the old ways are best. Let us call these new tools absolvers. Ignorance will suffer, but... Yes, absolvers. Let's call them absolvers. Okay, and I need more discipline. Do I have anybody disciplined? And I need more obedience. Do I have anybody obedient? You. Okay, yeah, this looks good. Begin. Burning books, great outcome. Maria discovered a cache of old books. They burned merrily in the town square. Nobody dares complain when while Maria is present. Good. You notice Maria's ceremonies aren't as well attended as the others. You might be lacking forever. 
Okay. Let's see. Complacent. Ah, that's a minor sin. We're fine with that. Average outcome. Tyranny seeds of forbidden desserts and fine cloth in stirring steadfast focus on prayer. Good. Acts as your eyes and ears throughout the village. Obedience plus one. Tyranny pulls the town on their thoughts about a library. Okay. Artist. Oh my god, that's a major, major wise there. We don't want any artists here. Culture is forbidden. Whoosh. Average outcome. Dutifully whip the sinful, adhering to rites of penitence. Sticks to your side, except when you send out to fulfill your orders. Wait, what? Yeah, sticks to your side, except when sent out to fill your orders. Yeah. Arrives late. And undisciplined. Okay. What's your generous? Hmm, minor advice. Okay. Next. Mm, okay. Still good. Still good. And season's end draws near. I must choose a sacrifice to protect the villages. Gathering convenes. Who will be the sacrifice of the season? It is the artist, I'm sorry. Villagers will be disturbed by Tyranny's death and lose obedience. Well, that's too bad. Villagers will be inspired to create their ignorance through the purging of this sinner. House Cat will, will grudgingly submit to my decision. We don't have art here. Art is humbug. Art is a sin. Artists will die. And so they will purge their souls and be happily rejoined by our merciful God. We sacrifice the life of tyranny in the name of Chernobog and the good of our people. Our condolences to House Cadwell. House Cadwell solemnly mourns tyranny. Approval minus 30. Other houses approval plus 5. Villagers praise Chernobog for ridding their community of a blighted soul. Ignorance plus 15. Obedience minus 5. The night before the new season, the whisper caresses your dreams. My faithful servant, I await your devotion. Encourage forever, burning flame of devotion. The teller of lies, give her to me. Okay. Summer. Nights are pale and short-lived. And I have a letter. Heresy. Ladislas Efferson reports that Ludmila Yosefka has called Chernobog fictional. While Ludmila is not the most ardent worshipper, there is no proof that Ludmila disavowed our faith. I will demand you are undisciplined, you are disobedient. Release. As Efferson will not like this, Frever will suffer, as Yosefka will not like this. I demand evidence. Oh shit, that will go down a lot. But I still demand evidence. Okay. Okay. Cool. So I need this thing to reach this line here. And I need to find the teller of lies. Someone with a minus in penitence. Okay, oh, oh, I like the mechanics here. But I am going to leave this episode of The Shrouded Isle right here. Thank you all so much for watching this. If you liked it, let me know. I hope you're having a great day and I will see you again next time.